Let's take a look at this problem. We got y is equal to log base 3 of x uh, times 4 to the x. We want to find derivatives, so this will be a product rule. This will be p, and this will be q. So we need p prime. Well, p is equal to log base 3 of x. And this is our formula. So this will be a, that's our base. And uh, whatever's here is our u. In this case, it's just a single variable, so it's actually the simpler form formula. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write down the more complex formula. I like one formula that works 100% of the time. So find the derivative of that. We're going to have 1 over natural log of a, and then 1 over u, and then u prime. Okay, so p prime. a is 3, so we're going to have 1 over natural log of 3, 1 over u, uh, so 1 over x, times u prime, well the derivative of x is 1, so that drops away. So p prime is going to equal to 1 over x natural log of 3. Well, we need q prime. q is 4 to the x. And again, I'm going to use a longer version of the formula for this. This is a to a power, specifically a to the u power. And our formula for the derivative will be the natural log of a times a to the u times u prime. So a is 4, so we're going to have natural log of 4. a to the u, which is just 4 to the x, times u prime. Well, the derivative of x is 1, so that just drops away. Okay, we're going to have p prime q plus p q prime. So then for our derivative, p prime is um, 1 over x natural log of 3 times q, which is 4 to the x, plus p, which is log base 3 of x, times q prime, which is natural log of 4, 4 to the x. Now let me double check all that. Okay. Now I know say I'll have a 4 to the x, so I could factor that out. And then that gives me 1 over x natural log of 3 plus, that's gone, and these I'll put in fraction form. So this will be log base 3 of x times natural log of 4 over 1. And we're going to get a common denominator. Common denominator would be x natural log of 3. First fraction I already had, so I leave it alone. Second fraction. We multiply the bottom part by x natural log of 3, so we'll multiply the top part by x natural log of 3. So then we're going to have 4 to the x times, and the, these will converge together now. So we've got 1 plus um, log base 3 of x natural log of 4, and I'm going to put that x out in front, and then natural log of 3, all over x natural log of 3. And that's our answer. Not a whole lot of simplifying you can do beyond that.